guys, welcome to another insightful episode of the Millennial Talks show, where we talk about issues that affect millennials and how to deal with them. It is the second week in March 2022. And yes, we started the month by talking about five hurdles that you may encounter amid your career path. Now, like I said, this month is not one of those very predictable months, but still today on the show, we're gonna be looking a bit deeper into career. And of course, as usual, I'm not gonna be having this conversation alone. I have a special guest with me, someone with all the knowledge here. <laughs> I know she's gonna laugh at that, but, um, you know, before we go into the conversation, um, as usual, we'll go on a quick commercial break and when we're back, we'll be diving right into it. Don't go anywhere. There is time for everything. It doesn't matter if it's food, work, hobbies, or just life. Millennials are always on the go, trying to make things happen. Millennial Talk, enlightening and supporting millennials on finance and growth for personal development. Join us on Millennial Talk every Thursday by 10 a.m. Start developing yourself today. All right, guys, we are back. Well, um, today on the show, we're going to be discussing building a successful career with a focus in law. Now, we're discussing, we're focusing on law because my guest has at least 20 years experience. I'll get them, so I'll get there someday. <laughs> 20 years experience in this field. But she's also a, a coach, a career coach as well, which I find quite interesting. So we'll be uh, getting all the knowledge from her. So to have this conversation with me, I have Bukola Shim. Well, she's going to give me a uh, brief introduction of herself. Welcome to the show. <laughs> I, I like the fact that you miss my I don't, I don't recognize that person you just described. That's that me you just talked about. Well, well, um, as I was saying earlier, I read through your profile and I was like, whoa, 20 years. I, I have not even gotten to 10, but I know I'll get there yeah, someday. You, you, you set in a wheel. Yeah. So oh. give us a brief introduction about yourself. I don't want to be the one giving the world your profile. So go ahead and give us a brief introduction. Okay, so what's there yourself? to say? Um, my name is Bukola Shimola Ochuga. Um, my friends call me and my mentees and my coaches call me Coach BSO. Mm -hmm. And that's because my name is a mouthful. So I just thought that mm -hmm. it would be better. Just call me my initials. Um, I'm a lawyer. Yeah. I've been a lawyer for 20 years. Yeah, 20 years this year. Correct. Wow. And um, I don't feel like I've been practicing for 20 years, to be right. honest. Yeah. <laughs> Time flies. You know, it does fly. <laughs> yes. And um, I think that... Um, well, I don't think. I, I know now that um, coaching, I found coaching while practicing law. And, um, you know, it's like one of those things that you do and you don't know that's what you're doing mm -hmm. until you maybe read something or somebody says something and then you say, oh, so that's what I was doing. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> I mean, that's what happened to me literally. Right. And, um, you know, like I was telling you earlier, for me, um, I just wanted to solve a problem. Mm. And the problem I wanted to solve was the problem I had when I was starting my career. Mm. And, um, and it is a problem that a lot of young people still have to today. Right. And what is that problem? The problem is that transition, that transition from academic life mm -hmm. into professional life it's a difficult transition for a lot of people yeah. some people never get over it mm -hmm. some people it takes them a long time to make that effective transition, transition. Mm -hmm. and some people just give up True. along the way True. so I, I I had that same problem right mm -hmm. and it was a difficult time for me and you know I promised myself that I would never let anybody go through the same things I mm. went through, mm. if I could help it. I mean, I can't help the whole world, Definitely. but if you're around me, when you're just starting mm -hmm. and you're willing to learn, you're teachable, I can guarantee that you will not make the same mistakes I make or people that are just starting like you 
yeah. would ordinarily make. Mm -hmm. And so that was for me the inspiration. I just didn't want people to make the same mistakes. It didn't make sense, mm -hmm. you know? So I know, like I said, the things that I could have avoided, the decisions I probably shouldn't have made, mm -hmm. the steps I shouldn't have taken, the places I shouldn't have worked, right? right. But you know, I don't have regrets. I, I, I reckon that all those experiences, you know, are useful mm -hmm. and perhaps are some of the things that push me to do what I do. Right. So I'm still a lawyer. Of course. <laughs> that, Definitely. I don't think you can ever stop being a lawyer. I don't think so. I mm -hmm. mean, that's my conclusion. Mm -hmm. But I love coaching. I, I love coaching because of what it does for me and the person that I am Other people. interacting with. Mm -hmm. So coaching is, is an art. It is something that... You probably are doing, but mm -hmm. you just don't know that don't you're know. doing. <laughs> um, I love mentoring people. Mm -hmm. So mentoring is something that you're doing, but you've just not put an into it. Mm -hmm. You know, like I was telling somebody yesterday, the first time I knew that I was a coach, I think it was my birthday some years ago. And one of the people I was coaching sent me a cake and she wrote there, happy birthday to my life coach. And I'm like, wow. wow. So I called, I'm like, Am I your coach? <laughs> She's like, oh, so what do you think you've been doing? She says, oh, yes. really? That was when I started paying attention to it. So I now started studying about it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I started checking for information online. And, you know, I realized that people were earning money from it. Right. I didn't right? know that before. <laughs> so then I started taking it seriously. seriously. Mm -hmm. You know, but... For me, it wasn't really about the money then. It was just about what I was doing, what I was able to achieve, and the results that I was getting. Because for everyone that I was opportune to work with, mm -hmm. I realized that their learning curve was reduced maximally. And I'm talking about almost by 70%. Wow. I mean, like, they moved really fast. Mm -hmm. You know, I give you a typical example. I'm, I'm an advocate of... I don't think you should go for your master's immediately after you graduate. Right. I, I don't think, and the reason I say that is because I don't think you know what you want to do. That's true. You know, you, you, you haven't done anything. Mm -hmm. So why, what are you mastering in? That's the question I ask. And then I say to myself, I say to them, look, when you go and get a master's, when you come back, you are overqualified. Overqualified. That's so true. <laughs> nobody wants That's to employ you. you. So why do you want to do that to yourself? Why don't you work, learn, discover yourself, mm -hmm. discover what you like? Because to be honest, you don't even know what you At like just point. yet. That's true. So you need to find what you like and you cannot know what you like if you do not try anything. That's, That's just true. it. So I say to young people, especially the ones that I'm fortunate to work with. i give you an example. There was one, um, he was supposed to um, do his um, national youth service mm -hmm. in my office at the time. And, you know, very smart, very intelligent young man. And I told him, I said, if you let me help you, you're going to do very well. Mm -hmm. And they're going to retain you. He said, okay, no problem. And we started. And should be told, he was retained. Wow. But then he told me, just before the end of service year, he said, oh, he wants to go for his master's. And I mm. said, why do you want to go for a master's? And he said, yes, he just wants to get over and done with it. I said, well, I don't think you're ready. Mm -hmm. And he says, am I serious? I said, yes. Do you trust me? I mean, I asked you to trust me before. initially. Mm -hmm. Do you trust me? He said, okay, that's, you trust me. I said, just wait. Give yourself some time, mm -hmm. maybe two years, work a little bit. And after two years, come back and tell me what do you want. What do you want, to want? Yeah. And when he was going for that master's initially, he was going to go for a master's in law. Oh. Two years later, or maybe three, he didn't go for a master's. <laughs> oh my no, God. I'm he, serious. He didn't, he didn't go? go. <laughs> wow. He didn't go. He grew really fast within the organization. Mm -hmm. He got another job. He left. Mm -hmm. By the time he was going for a master's, he was going for a, a master's of science 
wow. in finance because he discovered his love for finance, finance. while right. practicing law. Imagine. So you see, just imagine if he had gone for that LLM. Mm. Waste of time, waste of, time. Waste of money. Mm -hmm. Because he would come back, he would start all over again because he would just join the pool of unemployed, unemployed people. Unemployed people. And this right. time he's even overqualified. overqualified. True. I think I think I agree with that a hundred and one percent. But let, let's move to the next question. I believe when it comes to success, there's a, just as the normal, there's a, there's a norm. Just like you come out of the university, you go and do your masters. Some people right after that they go for their PhD. And I'm like, what is all this for? I have never really understood why people chase it that much. But I always felt like this is what they really wanted to do. So. What do you think are the most common myth, myths and facts when it comes to success in general? Mm, I think the myth, and I think life, mm -hmm. the world, and the way the world is evolving has kind of like this demystified a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I don't, I mean, this is just me, and this is by no means, I'm by no means saying don't go and get a master's mm -hmm, or definitely. don't go and get a PhD. Some people are just academic mm -hmm. in their inclination and that's fantastic, you can do that. Mm -hmm. But I think that um, the world that we now live in has taught us that what you really need is skills. Skills, truthful. Right? Mm -hmm. You know, you need to discover that skill. And if you need to get some education to be better at it, then you get it. Mm -hmm. You don't get the education first and start to figure out how, how to, to use the skill. It. Yeah. I don't think that makes sense. Right. So you 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 find out that you can sing, mm -hmm. right? That's a skill. That's right. a talent. Right. So can you get better at it? Can you get yourself a coach? Mm -hmm. Can you get yourself a tutor to make you better? Maybe a voice coach or a music teacher. Mm -hmm. Can you do that? Can you take a course online mm -hmm. to learn more about music? Can you do that? Right. Instead of going to study music first and then discovering that, oh, I really don't like music. Hmm. Waste of time. Right? Mm -hmm. So... I'm not saying don't get an education. Definitely. I'm not saying don't get a degree. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying do what you you are wired to do. Wired. I like the word wired. <laughs> I like the word wired. No, because we're wired to do different Something. things. Definitely. We're, I mean, I am wired to do what I'm doing. Right now. Definitely. I, 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 I for absolutely this. love it. <laughs> yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. I am wired to do it. Right. But it took me time to discover, discover this it. part of me. Mm -hmm. And... How did I discover it? By doing, hmm. right? By letting that part of me come out. Right. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I did it. I coached, I mentored, mm -hmm. and then I discovered that I could learn to be better at it. I discovered that I could be certified to do it, right? right. And certification just gives me credibility. credibility. It does not make me less of a coach mm -hmm. if I don't have a certification. Mm -hmm. No, it is my results. That matter. That's right? What, matters, yeah. what kind of results can I give you when I coach you? What kind right. of results can you get if I mentor you? Mm -hmm. What kind of results can I give you when I teach you how to sing or mm -hmm. I do whatever I say that I am skilled at? Right. So that is what is important. Mm -hmm. So you need to do what you're wired to do. Um, so the next question would be, what are key steps like all of these things that you have said so far i believe that they you have mentioned that you have mentioned a few of them but for those who are very distracted let's just highlight <laughs> a few key steps at least maybe four or five that people can take to build it because one of the things i picked from what you said so far is finding what you know how to do best like your skill discovering that's true self-discovery so mm -hmm. in, a, in, in a matter of order can we just arrange how someone can achieve success in their career because definitely you have to love what you're doing and be good at it not be sad at it because i've been in a place where i just felt i was i don't know what am i living for i've been there <laughs> okay i think the place to start mm -hmm. and you you would really find it in my book is you need a desire you need to have a desire for what you want to do okay you really have to desire it mm -hmm. for me law how did i find law law was something I started desiring from watching a TV program back in the day. Oh. They used to call it Jake and the Fat Man. And I used to like the way Jake, Jake was a lawyer. Okay, Fat Man was a lawyer too. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I used to like the way they used to advocate 
in the courtroom in America. Mm -hmm. You know, I just loved it. Mm -hmm. You know, and I said to myself, I want to be like that, mm -hmm. and that's what drove me to study law. No. And I did litigation for a while, but I found out that I didn't like it, so oh. I moved to the other side. <laughs> and I say the other <laughs> side, I mean. I decided to be a solicitor. Okay. And what that means, I, I don't go to court. Okay. So you have to have a desire mm -hmm. for whatever you want to do. And you see, that desire cannot be just that you want that thing mm -hmm. or that you like it mm -hmm. or that you wish for it. It has to be burning. It has to keep you awake. Mm -hmm. It has to make you sleepless. Mm -hmm. You must literally think about it all the time. All the time. You know? Mm -hmm. It must push you to do things. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever doesn't push you to do something, you really don't want it. True. So, Napoleon Hill calls it a burning desire. Burning desire. So, when you read the book, Think, Think and Grow Rich, mm -hmm. just go look for the chapter called Desire, and you would find how he explained the power of desire. So, you really have to desire mm -hmm. to succeed okay. in whatever career you choose for you choose. yourself. Okay. You must desire it. And the reason why your desire has to be burning is because you're going to have challenges. You're probably not going to start where you wanted to start from. Okay. So, if your desire is not burning, if it's not strong enough, if, it does, if it's not almost an obsession, mm -hmm. you're going to want to walk away Eventually. at some point. Yeah. Maybe when you feel too challenged, mm -hmm. you know, on the path. Mm -hmm. So you have to have a burning desire okay. to succeed. The second thing that is critical is that you need to set goals. Right. You have to set goals. It's like if there was no goalposts, how would you how know you score? which team won in <laughs> True. match? So you have to set goals for yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to set goals for your career. And those goals must scare you. Mm. They must intimidate you. But you, you must really want to have it. Right. Childish mm. with your imagination. <laughs> you know, right. I think when we became adults, you know, or when we grew up, we stopped dreaming. dreaming. I think and so I think too. it's bad. Mm -hmm. Children dream. Mm -hmm. Children let their imagination run wild. Just ask a five-year-old, what do you want to be? She can tell you, I want to be an astronaut. Yeah. She can say, I want to go to the moon. Because they let their imagination run, run wild. wild. But when we start growing up, maybe because of life and reality, sometimes, you know, we stop dreaming. We start cutting ourselves short, right? Right. So you need to be able to dream. Mm -hmm. If you cannot dream, you cannot set goals. Right. So dream. Who do I see? What's the future that you see for yourself? Mm -hmm. Then take a walk back into your present from your future. How does this version of me Fit become that. that person? What does this version of me have to do to become that person I right. see in the future? What steps does this version of me have to, to do hmm. you know, to become that person I see in the future? Then break those steps. You know, Just break them into steps. Mm -hmm. Break them into goals. Short-term goals. Long-term goals. And then you know, another thing that I think is a problem and like I said, you know, that's why you need a burning desire. You know, when we set goals and, you know, you're pushing, you're trying to achieve your goals, you, 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 you encounter challenges, you encounter issues. That's not the time to dump your goals. Hmm. That's not the time to walk away. That's the time to reevaluate. Right. Go back. What's not working? Mm -hmm. Do I need to give myself more time? So you say... I want to do this in five years. And then this is the four and a half year. You're not anywhere close to it. And you say, okay, no, this is, this is not working. No, it doesn't mean it's not working. It just perhaps means you need to give yourself more, more time. time. Right. Or you need to change strategy. Hmm. Or you need to do something differently. Right. So when your goals are not working or you're not achieving them, it's not, that's not a sign to walk away from them. Right. It's a time to sit down. And Look at, reevaluate, yeah. right? Do I need to give myself more time? What am I doing that is not working? What am I doing that is working? What do more of the things that are working mm -hmm. and try to find a way around those things that are not working? You okay. know, just generally conduct a SWOT analysis on your goals. So, what are the strengths that I have? What are my weaknesses right now? What are the opportunities available to me? And what are the threats 
to that goal that I want to achieve. And when you finish, you see that you have new focus, new strength to push it, mm -hmm. right? Because now you think, okay, maybe I need to give myself more time. Right. Maybe I need to change strategy. Maybe I need to maybe ask for help. Right. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. The third thing that I really need you need is you need, I call them the three musketeers. Hmm? Mm. And I call them musketeers because you see in the 7th century, century, century France, the king of France used to have this special, they were like an elite squad that used to protect him, guide him from, you know, trouble and all of that. And who are the three musketeers you need for your career? You need a mentor. Okay. You need a coach. Mm -hmm. And you need a sponsor. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know that before. Okay. I just discovered that. Right. You need a mentor because you've not been on that road before. Before. Somebody has gone ahead of you. Mm -hmm. Somebody knows the road. That's Somebody happening. knows where the portals are. Mm -hmm. Somebody knows where the ditches are. Mm -hmm. Somebody knows where, you know, the, the, the road that will get you there faster. So why do you want to do the journey alone? if you can walk with somebody that has walked that path that before. already, I see. So you need a mentor. Okay. Second, you need a coach. And the reason you need a coach is, you see, like I said, we really don't know how we're wired until somebody pushes us or somebody asks us critical questions. Sometimes. We yeah. don't know the potentials locked up inside of us mm -hmm. until somebody helps us to do that. And that's what a coach does for you. Mm -hmm. A coach helps you to see the potentials locked up inside of you, mm -hmm. right? A coach helps you to see that version of you that you have not seen mm -hmm. by asking you questions, right? That would help you to bring that person out of you. So you need a coach. I mean, it's not, it's no longer a fad. You know, people say, oh, everybody's a coach now. No, mm -hmm. you need a coach. Why do athletes have coaches? True. Every athlete you know that is a champion. They have coaches. They have coaches. So why don't you want to have a coach? Mm. If you really want to do well with your career, if you want to be up there, mm -hmm. you need a coach. Lastly, you need a sponsor. And what does the sponsor do for you? The sponsor gives you leverage. The sponsor talks about you where it matters. Mm. The sponsor provides opportunities for you to showcase your skills, right. to do what you love doing. You know, it would make your journey unnecessarily difficult if somebody doesn't speak for you speak in the you. right places. Right. You know what that does for you? I mean, just somebody just exposure. mentioned it. That's it true. gives you exposure. It gives you leverage. You're able to do things quicker. Hmm. And these musketeers, you don't get them by just going out there and saying, oh, I want you to be my sponsor. No. You need to put yourself out okay. there. How do you do that? Personal branding. I told somebody on Sunday, do you have a personal brand? I didn't have one when I was practicing. My brand was subsumed with my firm. With your firm? I think that happens a lot, actually, with career. You know, it and does. It, it is now that I know that I didn't have a brand outside of, uh, of that firm. And I paid for it hmm. daily. You know? So you need to exist Outside, outside of your, your employer, you yeah. need to exist because you do exist. Mm -hmm. You are a product. Mm -hmm. And that's why your employer is paying you mm -hmm. because it's buying something that you're selling. And what is that? The service the that services. you are providing. Right. So you are a product. So you have to brand yourself. How yeah. do you do that? Social media gives you an opportunity, opportunity. to do that. Yeah. Free. That's you don't true. have to pay for it. But you know what worries me the most? What do young people use social Tell media me for? <laughs> I don't want to go into that. Not your story for another day. <laughs> but you see, it's critical. Yeah, it is. That you need to, you have to have a personal brand. Hmm. You need to. It is no longer something that is left for companies or big names. No. Yeah. Even the big names that have a brand, they didn't start today. They didn't just become a brand today. They've okay. been working on it for long. so long. Yeah. So if you have a personal brand, 
right? Mm -hmm. You have a personal brand. It would be easy right. to ask somebody to mentor you because they see what you're doing. Right. They can relate with what they're what you're, you're doing. Mm -hmm. They see that you are going in the same direction. They've been where are. you are. Yeah. But yeah, in your cubicle, in your house, nobody's gonna see you. You don't know what you're doing. I mean, you're just coming yeah. to me. I understand. I'm sorry. So yeah. you need to have a personal brand. You need to invest in it. Mm -hmm. Use social media for much more than chit chat. Chit chat. <laughs> or just tweeting rubbish. <laughs> I understand I mean, all of that. I, I, <laughs> just use it for more because right. it could it could give you more. I, I get it. Um, okay, let's quickly move to the last question for the day because I feel like you've answered the other question I had on ground. You literally told me why you love to do this and I don't need you to answer that question anymore. I can see it. So uh, quickly in uh, one minute, could you just give us like a golden rule? To so I believe that everyone, has, personally, I have a golden rule to what I do. So if you have had a golden rule to um, people trying to succeed in whatever career field that they are, what would it be? I would say that lead mm -hmm. and leading doesn't necessarily mean you have to have a title or a position okay it means being the best that you can be by time i'm not asking you to compete mm -hmm. i'm just saying be the best be that the you best. can be I want by to time do. excel okay. and when i say excel i'm just saying be excellent mm. excellence is beautiful mm, is. excellence makes you stand out mm -hmm. Don't settle for mediocrity. Right. Mediocrity does not set you out. It just leaves you within the mixed most multitude. Go the extra mile. Hmm. Write properly. Right. You understand what I mean? I agree. Excellence. Be accountable. That's the third one. Hmm. Lead excellent accountability. Be accountable. And right. what do I mean by being accountable? Be answerable to someone. Hmm. And that's where your three musketeers come in. Okay. You have to be accountable to somebody. Somebody right. has to be able to call you to order. Somebody has to be able to call you out on your BS. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Lastly, you have to be determined. Right. It takes a lot of determination to get anything anywhere. done. That's to get true. anywhere. Mm -hmm. You have to be absolutely determined. Mm -hmm. You must be determined to achieve it no matter what happens, no matter what comes your way, no, no matter the obstacles, no matter the challenges, because they are going to come. Definitely. I mean, that's the way God organized this world. Mm -hmm. There are supposed to be challenges. Right. And I tell people that, look, challenges are supposed to grow your muscles. Okay, It's like somebody that is building his body. The, the more challenging the weights that you carry, the more muscles you get. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. The stronger you are. So challenges are supposed to build your muscles. Right. Don't run away from them. Face them headlong. Hmm. Take the lessons. Because the lesson you learn from one challenge is necessary for the next stage. <laughs> Wow, I have learned a lot from today's conversation. No, really. because there's no, there's no, there's no experience that is wasted. Definitely, whether pleasant or unpleasant, whether good or bad, or bad. Mm -hmm. every experience has a part to play in the future that you're you're going to you're going to you're walking into the right. future that is locked inside of you. Mm -hmm. So there's no experience that is supposed to be lost on you. You shouldn't be too sad in that bad experience that you get lost on the lessons. Oh, lessons. So as, as sad as you are, you need to pay attention. Then you should ask yourself, what am I supposed to learn from this? Right. That's the only way that experience will not be lost on you. Mm -hmm. So if you can take lessons from that experience, you haven't, you have no reason to regret. Right. Because you learned something. And the reason why you have to learn is because you need it. Mm. You need it ahead of you. There is a greater challenge, a greater task, that we need, maybe it's resilience you learned from the last experience. So maybe the next challenge needs you to be more resilient. Okay. Remember, you have learned resilience, so it's not going to be too yes. shocking. I get it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Wow. This has been quite a conversation, guys. And honestly, I am the reason I can say is wow. <laughs> Are you sure I'm not going to take cushy lessons from well, you? you should come. <laughs> Definitely. You should come. Wow, guys. I I do hope that you have learned as much as I have. There's a lot. In fact. I feel like I'm going to go back and rewatch this episode just so that I can learn some more. But guys, it has been an insightful conversation with Coach Bukola. I'll call you Coach Bukola. <laughs> I like <Fine. laughs> Yeah. So, um guys, if you'd like to find out more about personal finance and the financial markets, don't forget to visit our website on www.prosharenge.com. Keep watching. Mm-hmm.